The cabinet of Uganda has confirmed their support for President Museveni in the 2026 presidential elections, not General Muhozi Kainerugaba, his son. On Monday, in a cabinet meeting chaired by the Vice President of Uganda, Her Excellency Jessica Alupo, they resolved that President Museveni still have support from Ugandans and therefore he is still fit to stand for 2026 elections. Other sources have revealed that even Honorable Nobat Mao, the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, who had previously demanded for a transition from President Museveni, was present in that cabinet meeting, but he never objected the resolution to support President Museveni in 2026. <music> Now, Mitiana Municipality Member of Parliament, Honorable Francis Zarkey, has been referred to the Rules, Privileges and Discipline Committee by the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Thomas Tayewa. Now, yesterday, on the floor of Parliament, Honorable Zarkey tabled the issue of abductions going on in the country, but the Deputy Speaker didn't give him ample time to present the matter, something that angered Honorable Zarkey, and the Deputy Speaker decided to suspend the House for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, sir, the abduction of citizens, especially here in the central region, has reached crisis levels, Mr. Speaker. The victims are mostly supporters of, of, of the opposition. And right, Honorable Speaker, we saw yesterday the Sheikh and Mr. Joseph Kabuleta being abducted in broad daylight by the armed men. And Mr. Speaker, 24 days now ago, NUP supporter Kavma Jamshid, who also doubles as my president's bodyguard, he was abducted with three other youth from their workplace. Mr. Speaker, only this month alone, hundreds of youth have been abducted and they have disappeared. They have not been seen or heard of uh, since then, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Zake, just a minute. Mr. Speaker, let me first no. finish up my matter. Oh. I'm the one who has allowed you, I will allow you. Don't mind. Colleagues have suspended for five minutes. When they returned from the break, the Deputy Speaker, Thomas Tayewa, was very angry and this is what he said. This house has rules. If you want to do drama, go and do it in your constituencies. You can't do it on this floor. Number two, number two, if you want pictures to go around, People holding you up, how you are arrested, clothes getting torn, and you use them during campaigns. We can organize for you, we are near National Theater. Then you do that. Number three, number three, as per Rule 175 of our Rules of Procedure, I refer Honor Ibozake to the Committee on Rules for Discipline. Not any single day we remember come and dress here. You try to even commit yourself, commit suicide here. If you're doing it for your constituency and you want to appease your constituency to show you're the one who has worked, do it. But it will never influence any decision I make here. Now, one of the ministers in President Museveni's government, Honorable Margaret Muhanga, said the situation is not as bad as the opposition is trying to put it out there. They, are not, they have not abducted anybody. That abduction word is still for the gallery so that the people feel, oh, our MP was talking about uh, taking our issues to the house. But they are, the situation is not as bad. How come for you, you are not abducted? Why? How come me, I am here, and many others? No. You see, there is a saying that there is no smoke without fire. No security agency will come to your house to pick you out of nowhere. There will be a clue who is taking these guns from police stations, who is killing policemen and women, who is doing it. So when security goes to arrest them, instead of you supporting the government to have these culprits brought to book, you want to support the people that have been arrested. 
and nobody has been kidnapped or abducted. That's a lie. People are being arrested. Broad daylight and everybody is seeing and they are documented. Well, I see horrible Margaret Muhanga is right here trying to impress her master, that is President Museveni. But I want to tell you horrible that until one of your own is abducted or tortured, that's when you know that uh, abduction and torture is very serious in Uganda right now. Just look at this video. It's been trending on social media so big time. Gunmen in the night taking people and some of these guys putting on UPDF uniform. And you hear someone say that we don't have abduction in Uganda. And it's very hard to believe, you know, this statement is coming from a female minister who I feel like should understand what very many mothers out there are going through after their children missing for months and years. But anyway, those are our leaders who just aim at impressing one person, and that is President Museveni. Otherwise, the Buzz UG will join the majority of Ugandans to demand for the release of all the abducted opposition supporters. Well, there you go. That is the latest update on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind about any of these stories, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fula. And it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.